Hello and welcome. I am Dr. Abstract from Zim at zimjs.com and we just did a video showing how to use Zim in an editor such as VS Code and view it in a browser. So you're editing and developing locally. That's how we usually, usually do it. And it comes from this template right here in the code page. So take a look at that video and that allows you to edit and uh, see Zim locally. Um, we can also use Zim completely offline, so I wanted to show you where you can do that. Just scroll down a little bit more in the code to the CDN here, and there's an offline link. And so you can download a zip file and grab an offline version. So I've just hit the download there and in VS Code. So make sure to unzip it. I've already unzipped it. There it is offline, so I'm not going to go bother finding it in my downloads and unzipping it. You should know how to do that, I hope. But um, yeah, find the zip file, unzip it, and you will get an index page. And so there's the index page. If you want to read more about it, there's the readme.txt, and it's basically telling you what I'm telling you now. Uh, what we've done is we have called local versions of the script tags there of create.js and zim minified and those local versions are in the scripts directory in your offline folder so when you download it you'll also get these scripts and there's create.js and here's zim.js so it's all local rather than calling zim over the internet and that will allow you to say present your art without worrying about an internet connection or if you're doing light shows on bands or if you're in a school where the internet's not very good or you don't have internet uh, then you can still work with zim locally in an editor such as vs code see so watch i'll right click here and i can open in default browser and here is zim working locally so that's in a file system there and it's not calling the internet in any way. All right, and then you can make edits here. For instance, change that to red or put it whatever you want in here, build in Zim, and you get this. There is also, if you really wanted to, you could grab, uh, I never thought of this before, but I was just thinking about the docs. Um, in the docs, you can grab a text version of the docs, that's right there and just save this text version. So you can look up things in the docs if you if you really need to. Right click and say uh, save as, and then save it wherever you want to save that, okay? But that would get you a local version of the docs. I don't know if you need that or not. All right, I am Dr. Abstract from Zim, zimjs.com. Have a great day. If you have any questions about that, come visit us uh, in the forum right here, Discord. Oh, oh, sorry, that's Discord or the forum either one of those two places, and we'd be happy to help you. Bye-bye.